Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the Rome Warden. This board features Rome's Fusion Camber, which is pretty much traditional camber into a very micro rocker zone in the tip and the tail, so it gives it a little looser play out there right by the contact point, but you're going to get that snap and drive of traditional camber right underfoot. This board is available in 149, 152, 155, 157 wide, 158, and 160 wide. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a sunny bluebird day. There was a little bit of haze in the skies, but really not much. A little bit warmer temps. The snow was icy and fast, a little chundery to perfectly groomed, and I rode it with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my Rome Black Label binding. So this is a directional twin, which means you're going to have a twin-like flex to it. This is more of a price point board, so what you get is a nice big sweet spot in the tips, then it stiffens back up to the dead center where it gets really soft and playful. So there's a lot of torsional given this. Now, this is a very lively board. You will feel everything right underfoot, and there will be a lot of chatter out in the tip and the tail. So keep those knees bent. Be prepared to just get bucked around if you decide to go Mach 10 into a mogul field. Otherwise, it's stable where it counts, like on a groomer and through the park. What I like about Fusion Camber is that it is traditional camber, but it's not domineering. You don't really have to be calculated to load it up to get pop. So you're riding along, you snap, you're in the air. It's very skate-like. The other good thing is that small little rocker zone acts like an actuation point. So when you load the board and roll back onto it, it just pops right off of it. Makes this board snappy, in my opinion, which, hey, this board's snappy, all right? You can ollie off anything without having to be calculated. And on jumps, this board has solid snap. You'll find yourself just making it to the sweet spot or overshooting it, which was my problem in the preseason. But then again, why am I hitting five-foot jumps? I know better than that. I always overshoot them. This board snaps, it pops, it's solid. Don't really worry about it. That little micro zone out in the tip and the tail of this board just adds to the sweet spot. This is a board that you can get your weight out over and it will lock into a press, a butter, whatever you're trying to do. You can just get your weight out over the top of it, slide sideways, press into it. It's going to lock and hold, but that fusion camber is going to give you that snap and drive you want out of it. You want a jib? Go jib. You don't have to worry about it. You're going to lock into a nose or tail press, and if you get sideways, you got camber, so it's going to slide sideways and just feel really good. Basically, this board's at home, jibbing, sliding, buttering. When it comes to the ease of transition from toe to heel on this board, it's prime. This is a very smooth board from getting it from edge to edge. You'll notice that it's quick and snappy on short, little tight carves, and it holds on for long, hard, drawn-out carves. This is a board that you could rip a Euro carve if you want to, or you can just like go really fast and spray a bunch of skiers and skid a turn if you need to. It's dialed. This is just a board for ripping, gripping, doing what you need to do, getting out, laying a turn where it counts. So who's this board for? It's for the solid beginner to a progressing intermediate, someone that wants to just push it all over the mountain and needs one board to do it all. So is this a top of the line board? No. Is it bottom of the barrel? No. This is like in that weird amalgamation of fun boards that just about anyone can ride on a price point. Like this, this board's got good bang for the buck. It's solid, it's snappy, it holds an edge where it counts. Basically, you can go out and just kind of do everything with. To me, it seems almost like a downgraded agent, if you will. You know, just something that's a little bit more price pointy and just hits that certain rider that can't afford a high-end board but wants a board that can do it all. This, this board does not suck. Comparable boards. The Ride Algorithm. The Yes Jackpot. The Interior Plane Project Haro. This has been my review of the Rome Warden. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the content we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us grow out what we're doing, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.